Hi, I'm Dylan Coates. And why is it that you can't go five seconds without seeing someone holding one of these? What's so special about these little devices that control our lives? In the past decade, mobile phones have drastically changed how we talk to each other and also how we use our time. Technology has allowed us to do endless possibilities through a touch of a button. Okay, so what mental health effects are there to us using social media so often? Uh, I think it's proven and documented how damaging um, social media is um, to young people's self-esteem. Um, for instance, um, the amount of likes that they receive or being perceived as popular um, can be very damaging when people are forming um, themselves, their personalities, when their egos are developing. I think um, being seen not to be popular or have as many followers has very detrimental effects on So you're probably sitting there with your phone in your pocket watching this right now. What you wouldn't know is that phones produce radio waves and it's highly speculated that these radio waves can cause cancer. And so these radio waves, they can interfere with important electrical equipment such as pacemakers. And you wonder why there is an airplane mode on your phone. This is to stop the radio waves interfering with radars and important transmission equipment that the planes need to use to direct themselves. Smartphones become a major part of our lives. You might not notice it, but we spend a lot longer on these things than you think you do, whether it be T tweeting, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, everything you do, you pretty much do on your phone these days. Okay, what's the stand on kids being able to use social media since a very young age? Um, I think that we live in an age where we work very hard. I think uh, we, we are kind of have a Protestant work ethic in this country and it takes parents away from the home. Often dual incomes are required to sustain um, decent standards of living in this country and I think the, the ultimate impact of this is parents seek an easy life and you know the nag power of children allows them to use media. Also we need them to be media savvy when they get older so um, it's a quick fix I'm afraid but uh, it's, it's probably not ideal and overused. So the first smartphone came out in 2007. It was the iPhone 2G. It looked very different to what we ha I have in my hand here. The iPhone 2G sold millions and it showed how people can be glued to their screens. Apple capitalized on the smartphone market that day and changed the world as we know it. So the iPhone 2G, it didn't have much on it. It had limited network access, limited social media, and not even an app store. So what could you do on it? Well, you did have texting, and that was probably one of the main reasons people used it. A better way of communicating. Why do you think people check their phones all the time? Um, because they are addicted to their phones. They're addicted to instant answers. Everything is instant gratification, and I think that's a very dangerous thing. Some things are long haul, and we're not developing those skills of resilience and um, long-term thinking when we gratify ourselves instantaneously with a, with a response and an answer mm. and a, a request. Okay. Do you believe that we have become addicted to our phones? Yes. Mm. Uh, Try taking one from somebody, you know, you know, and, and you will see definite signs of addiction. So there's using social media, taking pictures, talking to friends, or just the odd game. Phones are here to stay. I've been Dylan Coates, and you've been watching Blogged.